Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. I'm sitting in the back um, because my Audi R8 is currently being wrapped. I still haven't received any photos, so it's still a surprise on what it's going to be looking like at the moment. I'm sure that it's bit silver, bit another colour. But I'm sat in the back of a Vauxhall Signum Elite Edition, which is a two litre turbo. It's got some really nice extras. I've got a fridge in the back, there's overhead lockers, there's lots and lots of cool features on here. So I thought that, and black leather, just like my car. So I thought that I could video blog from uh, whilst being chauffeur driven, if you like. Um, it's very, very comfy, bit of style, a bit more comfy than the Audi R8. The idea of this video blog is for me to give you a lot more information about this Saturday's video. I'm going to be driving my new coloured Audi R8 from London to Edinburgh, which um, is a long way. I'm going to be talking to you about the mileage, about my fuel consumption, and also whether I'm going to make it there on one tank of fuel, because I have a bet with a friend uh, worth 100 pounds that I won't make it on one tank of fuel. A lot of people have been saying that I will make it. If you can hear that, that's a 355. Um, Ferrari 355. So this video blog is going to give you a lot more details about this weekend. Um, my challenge, my Top Gear challenge, or my Supercars of London challenge, as I mentioned yesterday's video blog. Um, and to give you a bit of an update and, and give you as much information as possible, and then you can choose which team you're going to be on, whether you're going to be Team Edinburgh, and um, you'll be supporting me get there on one tank of fuel, or whether your team just outside of Edinburgh, which is obviously the team that uh, supports me not making it based on um, how well I drive my Audi R8 or how slowly I drive my Audi R8. But there's a lot of tips and there's a lot of advice that I've found on the internet. So let's uh, get straight down to it. I'm going to grab the camera from the front and um, give you a bit of a point of view um, of some information. I've got my iPad in the car. So um, let's start talking about the journey from London to Edinburgh. <laughs> Welcome to the back of the Vauxhall Signum Elite and let's start my iPad up so that we can get an idea of the London to Edinburgh route. So let's first get up the Google Maps and as you can see, turn the camera around, we've got the maps up, I'm going to be starting in North London and travelling up well, what looks to be the M1, past Northampton, past Leicester, up through past Nottingham, Sheffield on the left, and as we carry on going up, we're going to be joining the A1, up past Leeds and York. And as you can see, as I'm zoomed in a little bit, I hope you can still see because I can't see. There we go. And then arriving in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh airport, where I'm going to be staying at the hotel overnight and meeting up with the Gumball 3000 teams on the Sunday. And here, if I zoom in a little bit, here you can see how long it's supposed to take and how many miles it is, which is 401 miles from start to finish, which um, is a long way. A long way to drive all in one go and it says it takes six hours and 40 minutes i'm not sure what what that's based on but it also says six hours and six minutes without traffic so let's start with the um, army tricks exhaust system and how it can benefit but also how it probably can't benefit um, my edinburgh trip challenge supercars of london challenge so the system has the valve controls if the valves are open all of the time then it means that the fuel and the air has just got a very very flea flea free flowing method of coming out of the exhaust system which makes my fuel economy very very low and it's noticeable as well so having the valve shut will um, improve my fuel economy and improve my mpg because it just means that i'm not dumping fuel straight out of the exhaust system so that's number one i will be driving with the valve shut that doesn't mean my car is quiet my car is still very loud with the valve shut um let's go on to my 20 
20 inch PJ edition projects design wheels that are fitted to my car with of course the lowered springs. That isn't very uh, fuel efficient. The wheels obviously being bigger takes a lot longer for the wheels to spin, spin, go around in a circle. Um, so my 19 inch Audi wheels that I were on the car would probably be better for my fuel economy, but also because the car has been lowered, the stance of the car and the wheels aren't dead straight, which means that the, um, the tires are working harder to spin round it's not that hard, but harder than 19 inch on the stock springs. Let's move on to some of the tips and advice that I've read on the internet on trying to get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel and just trying to drive as efficiently as possible. To start with, it's been advised that you don't touch the brakes, which seems stupid, or avoid braking and stopping. That's probably a better word to describe. Not touch, don't touch the brakes. Avoid braking and stopping. Um, the reason for this is the car is obviously um, designed to move forward, so the best fuel, fuel efficiency is to always continually be moving forward at a steady pace. So I'm hoping that driving on a Saturday during the day that there's not too many shoppers about. Moving on to a few um, insignificant um, ways in which you can improve the fuel economy, stuff like not using the heaters, not using the air conditioning, not using the headlights, and things like that that drain the battery. Um, it all adds to the drag of the car. What I read on the internet, not sure whether it's true or not, never believe everything you read on the internet. But um, that is a good point. Um, I have had a look at the weather forecast and it's saying that it's going to be around 23 degrees on the Saturday, a bit showery, and on the Sunday it's going to be a very, very nice day. But that means that but that means that I can't have the air conditioning on even though it's going to be 22, 23 degrees, which is it's fairly hot for the UK. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are probably experiencing hotter weather in some other countries. But for me, 22 degrees is quite hot. And also I'll be sitting in my Audi R8, which has got black leather. And if you saw vlog number one, then you'd see that that was a very hot day. I think it was about 23 or 24 degrees. And I was in black leather and it was very, very sweaty. So I'm praying and hoping that again, I'm not just sweating my way through um, a YouTube video on the Saturday trying to get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel. What we touched upon uh, first, avoid braking and stopping. Uh, maintaining speed is vital to get the MPG up as best as possible. Again, a tip from the internet. I hope to maintain a good speed, which uh, will keep me going at a, at a good rate and um, getting my MPG up as high as possible. And of course, going downhill is great for MPG because you're using less force to go down because of gravity. This is like a science lesson now, but going uphill, you're using more um, fuel and you're using more power to get up the hill to get to carry the weight of the car. Again, this feels like a science lesson and I was rubbish at science at school. Um, the last one is save weight. Of course, if you've got a very light car and you've got a big engine to power it, then the fuel economy is going to be great because you need less fuel and forces and stuff like that. Again, for you guys that have been doing science GCSEs and stuff like that, I'm sorry for banging on about all of this weight and physics and, and that sort of stuff. But saving weight is obviously key to having um, the lightest possible car in order to get the best fuel economy. And normally I drive with myself in the car and a camera, which keeps the car light and it keeps the car probably as light as it can possibly get, unless I was to lose weight, sh shrink a bit um, and not wear any clothes. But you don't want to see that at all. <laughs> I don't want to see, I don't even want to do that. Um, so saving weight is obviously key, but what's going to be weighing me back or weighing me down is the fact that I've got a co, well, no, I've just got a passenger, it's not a co-driver. I've got myself in the driver's seat and I've got a passenger who's going to be coming with me on the Gumball 3000 rally. So of course he's coming up with me to Edinburgh. So not only is there one person in the car, there's going to be two people in the car. And also there's going to be a lot of luggage, both mine and my friends, who you'll get to meet over the weekend. You've probably seen him before. But um, the car is going to be much, much heavier than normal. So the, the usual runs that I've been able to get great fuel economy from um, is not going to be the same because we've got luggage and we've got an extra person in the car. So that's going to be difficult and it's going to be different and I just hope that I can get as good fuel economy as 
if I was driving by myself. Um, if I realise that my fuel economy isn't as good, then my passenger is going to be kicked out. <laughs> He's not but I will kick him out because I'm determined to get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel. As you can see from the information, details and stuff that I've given you about my trip from London to Edinburgh, the Supercars of London Challenge, the first Supercars of London Challenge that has a hundred pound wager on whether I can get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel or not. Make sure that you comment below on whether you're team Edinburgh or team just outside of Edinburgh and of course give your reasons why. If you want to do your own research and um, prove me wrong on some of the um, tips and advice that I've um, given you, feel free to do so. I've just gone on one website and um, plucked some information out of the air so um that video will be coming this weekend follow me on my personal instagram name is somewhere now um so you can follow me on my journey on the saturday as soon as i arrive in edinburgh um or just outside of edinburgh i will begin to upload the video edit it and upload it um for you guys to watch over the weekend um and get ready for gumball 3000 which comes to the uk on the sunday morning and arrives in london at 6 p.m on the sunday afternoon i hope you guys have faith in me my r8 and also my um economical driving abilities thank you for for watching i hope you're enjoying these video blogs make sure that you subscribe and share to all of your car friends car lovers and um anyone that just likes a bit of fun on youtube so thank you very much and i'll see you tomorrow make sure you subscribe